In this video today, we're gonna take a look at how we can create a wall jump and a wall slide. We're gonna use that by using two techniques that's gonna be different. One that is using the built-in function is on wall in Godot that allows you to check if the collision is colliding with an object that can be considered as a wall. And we're also gonna use a raycast, which gonna uh, help us to have a little bit more control on how we can do our things. The asset is available in the description and uh, you can also find in the description the link for my uh, my game, Lone Knight, that you can which is on Steam at the moment, which is a 2D Metroidvania that should be released normally this year, this time. And uh, you can also find my latest course where I am making a 2D RPG with a crafting system, an inventory and a dialogue manager. And also in that same course, I am making as well an introduction to 3D in Godot 4. So let's get started. So for making the wall jump and the wall slide, we need to understand the basic of how it works. The thing that we need to do is like we need to be uh, able to detect collision and we need to be able to uh, set the behavior uh, according to that collision. And we can detect that collision in globally two ways in Godot. Either we can build, uh, we can use a built-in function that is called uh, is on wall which is handling uh, every collision that the collision shape of the player has. So for example, the collision shape of my player is this one right here. And so if it can, if it collides here or here, uh, it's gonna be uh, automatically on wall. Or we can also use a raycast. In this video, I'm gonna show you both. So like this, you are set uh, for choosing your, um, your way of doing things. I, I prefer the raycast personally, because the raycast is more uh, adaptable let's say like you can it's more precise you can do way more things but for uh, for in, in lots of situation is on wall is enough so first i want to address one issue that i have i'm gonna show you so here i'm gonna jump and i'm gonna uh, let press my my button and you can see that i'm jumping uh, indefinitely uh, so this is normal is because i just forgot uh, something in my uh, script of my player so uh, in the script of my player in my uh, function movement where i am like making the jump i have is action press it's not press it's just pressed i've put it like that at first for testing some stuff and then after that i forgot to <laughs> to just correct it i've like make a little note on my uh, video about the jump but uh, just to make sure that everyone is like uh following well with that uh so now the only the other thing that i need to do is i need to just like change a bit the tile map so i can have like a, a surface on which i can jump because i can jump for example on this one but here like i don't have enough room to test my wall jump and wall slide so i'm gonna go to my tile map I'm gonna go to my ground, I'm gonna go to my terrain, ground, and here what I'm gonna do is like I'm gonna make a wall right here, so something like this. I'm gonna do something like that, actually, and I'm gonna just change all of this right there, something like this, and I'm gonna make that wall like that, voila, and I'm gonna move my uh, crate, I'm gonna move it on top here, and I'm gonna make a little... Um, a little gate here so like this i can also escape so i'm just gonna go back to my tile map back to my ground i'm gonna go back to my select mode right here with the right click i'm i'm, I'm deleting this and here i think i'm gonna make a little bit of room like that okay for now that will do so uh one thing that i can do now is go to the uh, player uh, script and start to work on the wall jump so what i want to do is that here when I am in my I am in my uh, I'm gonna close all of this up voila I am in my movement function and so I'm having my input and here I have is on floor is on floor recharge my uh, jump count so like like this I can uh, double jump only a, a certain amount of time when I'm in the air and it also handle my animation when I'm not on floor if my velocity is in negative I'm jumping if my velocity dot y is in uh, negative uh, positive I'm falling so now what I need to do is that I need to also make some check for if I'm on wall. So here, what I'm gonna do is like, I'm just gonna come back here, something like this. And I'm gonna say, if is underscore on wall, then uh, what I can do is like, I can, uh, for example, assign my velocity to a new velocity. The thing here is that um, I don't want to automatically use the velocity of my jump. 
I want to use a, a, a different type of velocity because when I'm jumping, I want to have a little bit of pushback and at the same time, I want to jump up. So for that, I need to assign uh, not only my velocity.y, but my velocity in general. So for that, I need to set my velocity and here I need to, I need to set it to a vector 2 and here I can uh, specify what I want. The problem that I'm going to have here is that I need to also get the direction in which I am going. So for example, if I'm going to the, um, if I'm going, uh, to the left, I want to jump in positive. Uh, I, want to do, I want to be pushed back in positive because I want to be pushed back to the right. But if I go to the right and I'm, um, I'm on the, the, the right wall here, I want to be pushed back to the left, so I want to be pushed back in negative. So for that, I need to uh, get the direction in which I am going. And for that, we already have it. So basically here, we already have if velocity.x is uh, greater than zero, so that means that we are going in uh, positive, so we are going to the right, then we can assign our velocity to be that new vector 2. And I can copy that, but instead of if I'm going to put elif, velocity is smaller than zero, then we can assign our velocity to be that vector two. So now what I want to do here is like, because we are on the velocity dot x, what I want to assign here is uh, a negative one. So here I'm going to do minus 800 and then minus 350. So here, that's my velocity.x, here, that's my velocity.y. But when I am uh, smaller than zero, so that means I'm going to the left, then I want here to be in positive, and the y, I still want it to be in negative, like this. Now that I have done that, what I can do is I can uh, not only check if I am on wall, but if I am also pressing my action just press, this one here. So I can copy that, that line here, can copy and I can put it here. And so now let's have a look. I'm launching my game. What happens if I'm going, um, I'm going here and I'm jumping? You can see that now I'm jumping and it goes well. So now what happens if I'm going here? I'm coming here and I can also jump and it works. That's perfect. So we have the basic here of like a little wall jump. Uh, you can make you can like tweak that for example uh, i can <laughs> i'm gonna do something silly but i'm gonna put 1800 and 1800 just to make just to show you how big the the, the pushback gonna be see like the pushback is way bigger uh, i have a little bit of lag at the moment like that's normal it's because i'm recording so don't pay attention to that uh so so that's that but for me, I think that 800 and 800 here, that works perfectly. Maybe we can tweak the um, the jump a little bit more, something like 450. I think it's going to be too much, but let's have a look. Yeah, it's all right. It's all right. It's not too bad. It's maybe a bit too easy. So yes, like I think like I'm going to leave it at 370. And here I'm going to put 370. It's going to be enough. So, okay. So this is one part of that, uh, that mechanic. Yeah, that works fine. So now we need to take a look at the wall slide. The wall slide, we already have partly the, the, the logic of it. Like for example, we have our grav we have put our gravity. If you have followed the tutorial completely, like my, my series of tutorial, we, you have put your gravity into a function that is called gravity force. And so the function is um, in charge of applying my gravity, which is set to be at 10. Okay. Now, in that function, because that function is called uh, in lots of place, what we can do is we can also make a check. Here I can say if is on wall, then I can do something. So for example, here I need to do if not is on wall, not is on, where is my exclamation mark here? And I also need to put <laughs> the parentheses, obviously. Then if we are not on wall, we can apply our gravity normally. But if we are on uh, the wall, we want to actually set up our uh, gravity to be something very small, something maybe like one. And here, maybe I can put L if something like this. Let's have a look. So I come here and it works. You see, like it works, but it works better 
if I keep pressing on my input, uh, I need to also make it a bit smaller. I think I'm going to put 0 0.3, something like this. Let's have a look. Yeah, now it's way better. So see, like it works quite well. So this is like how you can do things with um, is, um, is on wall. But see, like here, for example, if I come here, that's not fully perfect. Because there's one thing that is like a bit problematic with that method is that um, we don't have that much way to set up uh, precisely our code. So there's something better we can do, which is using Raycast. And so for that, here I'm going to go to my player scene. I'm going to open it and here I'm going to look for a new node. I'm just going to put myself on the viewport so you can see what's going on here. Uh, I'm going to click on the viewport, click on plus, and here I'm going to look for Raycast. Uh, Raycast is going to be here. And here you can see we have that arrow that goes down. So the, we don't want the arrow to go down here. So we put uh, the, the Y at zero. We want the arrow to go uh, slightly to the right. So here I'm going to put uh, a value that is nine. For me, that works well. And uh, here what I want to do is I want also to move that a bit down. So here I'm going to go to the move mode, select first my recast, go to the move mode. I'm going to click on shift to um, constrain uh, the movement like this, and I'm going to move it around here. Here we're going to be enough. And Raycast, I'm just going to rename it. I'm going to, I'm going to call it Wall, uh, wall Collider, or uh, Wall Ray. That's it. I think I'm going to call it Wall Ray, <laughs> like this. It's a bit of a mouthful, but we're going to do that. Uh, yeah, what I'm going to do is like, I'm going to go to, the, to my script of my player. I'm going to create a new category. So for me, it's going to be uh, Wall, jump i'm gonna create an unready var i'm gonna call it wall uh, i'm gonna call it wall as simple as that and i'm gonna set it to be equal to my wall ray something like this so now what i want to do is i want to do two things first i want to have my wall ray that is um moving that is like turning shifting position when i'm going to the left or to the right because right now if i launch my game for example i'm going to put myself in visible collision shape here debug visible collision shape i'm going to launch the game you can see that my uh, my uh, raycast is here to the right so that's cool but if i go to the left it's like also going to the right which is not something that i want so this is very easy we can just go back to our wall ray and if we are clicking on our wall ray we go to the transform, we have our scale here. And if I uh, just unchain that here, that button here, and if I go here and I put minus one, you're gonna see that it's gonna shift my uh, raycast to the left, like this. So here, what we want to do is we want just to access that possibility. We want to access that functionality into the code. So for that, we just need to go back to the player script. And if you have the same uh, script than me, it's very easy to do. It's in the function movement. And here, just after sprite uh, 2d.scale, we're going to do the same thing for our wall ray. So I've called my wall ray here, I've called it wall, like this. I've already made a reference to that. So here, I just need to say wall dot scale dot x is equal to one because here we are going to the right. And then I can just copy that and pass it here. And here, instead of one, I can put minus one. And so now, if I launch the game, it's going to work. So let's have a look. Here, I am on the right, I press on the right, and here I'm pressing on the left, it goes to the left. One thing that we can notice though is that it doesn't collide, and this is normal because that's the second thing that we need to do, which is uh, our in the level, my tile map is uh, on the collision layer 2 and it collides with 1. Uh, and so basically here, what we need to do is we need to set our uh, raycast to also collide with uh, 2 uh, because that's the, 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 the layer we want to collide with. And this is also one of the reasons why I like to, to use raycast is because you can choose those layers here that you want to assign, that you want to, 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 to collide with. And you can assign different type of behavior depending the wall that you are like uh, colliding with, which can be very, very good, for example, for making different type of behavior uh, for different type of surfaces. Uh, so yeah, now that I've done that, I launch my game. You're going to see that my raycast is going to go red, going to turn red when I'm going to collide with the wall. Voila. And if I go on the other side, it's the same. So now we can use that to actually uh, 
also handle the behavior of our character. For that, what I need to do is like, I'm gonna go at the, the bottom, just before my reset state, and I'm gonna create a new function that I'm gonna call wall underscore collider. Ah, collider, something like this, voila. And here, it's just gonna return my wall dot is colliding. Is colliding is a built-in function into the raycast, so that's why I can collide. I can I can use that. Um, that's a function that is in charge of detecting uh, if the the raycast is colliding with something, and if it does something uh, from that, we're gonna be able to use that function wall collider as a boolean, which means that um, if it's colliding, it's gonna uh, return true, and if it's not colliding, it's gonna return false. So now that we have done that, what we can do is, for example, in our function where gravity force, when we are checking if we are on wall, instead of that, what we can do is like, if not wall collider, then we have the gravity that is set up normally, but if, and if uh, wall collider, so it means that our recast is colliding with something, then we can change our velocity. So let's have a look. I'm gonna come here, and you can see that now, it goes well, it works well, and I don't need to press automatically. But here we have like an issue which is normal, that's an issue that I have at the moment, I don't know where it comes from. Uh, but apart that, everything works well. So that's good. And so now you can use that as well to, for example, to go the um, the wall jump. So for example, here, instead of is on wall, I can set, for example, wall collider and input is action, action just press, and normally it should work too. So let's have a look. And you can see it works, so that's perfect. So now we have the basic of a wall jump and wall slide in two ways, and that works. But it's not fully perfect, you can make some tweak, obviously. Here, because I'm making a tutorial, I'm giving you the um, the logic of, of that, but like depending what you want to do, you can uh, set things a little bit differently than me. For example, you can have like a specific animation, you can have the player that uh, uh, shift um, position, uh, shift the direction on the other side when he are sliding, when he's sliding on like the, the, the wall, so for example, here we are on the left wall and maybe you want the player to be when he is sliding on the left wall being um, sliding in the right direction and when you are on the right wall you want the player to be sliding in the left direction so that makes something a bit more like uh, logical and stuff that's something that you can do as well you can set that up if you have like the, the animation and stuff me i don't have them so uh, that's not something I'm going to do in this video, but basically you need to uh, just assign your uh, your animation here. Like for example, where is it? In, on gravity force, where is my gravity force? Here in wall collider, what you can do is like you can say you can get the um, the the um, if it collides to the left or to the right, for example, and you can assign that uh, to the value that you want. That's all of the things that you can do. But basically, here you have the uh, the basic of a wall jump that can work in two ways: using is on wall or um, using raycast. And so now that we have done that, uh, we can move on to the next video where we're going now make the dashing mechanic so i will see you in the next video so that's it for me i hope this video has been helpful for you if it's the case don't hesitate to give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel me i want to thank you for watching and i will see you next time bye